of all, I want to commend um, developers uh, for <clears throat> the progress thus far, notwithstanding all of the challenges that they face with the hurricane in 2017, of course, COVID. Uh, we were very pleased with the progress. We are uh, waiting with great anticipation for the completion of the project where we can welcome guests, but this is a major investment in the, in the country and of course in particular the North Dominico. And uh, the partnership between uh, Anichi and the government has been very uh, mutually uh, beneficial. For us, it is about creation of jobs, uh, both in construction and during the operations of the hotel, uh, bringing in foreign exchange where we have tourists coming in, and, and having the multiplier effect on the economy. So there's a significant amount of money being spent during the construction phase. And as a developer highlighted, there, there are a number of local contractors and subcontractors and workers who are engaged on the site. So one can appreciate the circulation of, of, of money um, among, amongst the population here in Dominica. So we, we were very pleased with the, with the progress and having the name Marriott attached uh, to this development um, brings an added uh, plus, uh, not only to this property, but to the country. And I think with, with, the, with the plans the government has for the construction of the airport, the international airport, will certainly enhance our opportunities um, here. Dominic. So we want to commend Mr. Lawrence and his team. We're very pleased with what's happening and we look forward to coming back uh, in the near future to, to the official opening of, of, of this beautiful resort. It, it, all that has happened, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic um, that has struck the world really and has shut down the tourism industry to see a project like that uh, continuing amidst the challenges is absolutely remarkable and um, from our end from government and we, we will continue to pledge our support i just want to again place on record our appreciation for your vision which led to the introduction of the citizenship by investment program especially the addition of the real estate component um, what's happening in dominica is not possible would not be possible without the program um, I just want to as well extend an invitation to all members of parliament who are here and all ministers.